Hello and welcome to this bundle roundup video. As you can see, a little bit different than normal. I am normally not on screen in these videos, but that's just because I wanted to give a quick message. Uh, I'm in the middle of my exams right now, so I can't do much more than study. But this time there were some really good deals that I just wanted to show off. So um, I decided to make this video, but it won't be edited as normal. You won't see a bar at the bottom. To see uh, the other bundles that are being shown in this video you so you can skip forward to the ones you want to see because I just don't have time to make any of those visuals so I hope you understand and I hope you this video is still of some use to you also another message that I haven't said in other videos but uh, that I wanted to do with bundle roundup videos and that's that none of this is sponsored this is just all just personal opinion of deals that I find good and of course, if there are deals that aren't in this or bundles that aren't in this video um, and you think are good as well, just you can place them in the comment section. I have no problem with that. And with that out of the way, let's go to the first section and that's always the free game. So, there we go. So you can get World in Conflict for free, which is an RTS. From 2007 I think and it's a really good game um, although a little bit old so there's a pretty big chance you already own this but if not you can just go to your Ubisoft website to download Uplay or if you have Uplay already installed open Uplay you get a pop-up message to install the game and it's in your library forever um, you have until the 11th so still six days as you can see here after the 11th um, you can get Assassin's Creed Black Flag for free until the 28th of December. Um, so yeah, that's the free game of this video. Um, just to show it's still Ubisoft, as you can see, my site is set to English. But still, there are some Dutch lines in here, which is really weird because most of the site is actually in English. So yeah, only Ubisoft can screw this up. But now let's get into the bundles. So here we have Fnatical, which is former uh, Bundle Stars, and this is the Nemesis Bundle 4 with 1 Euro tire, 5 Euro tire, and 10 Euro tire, so a pretty big difference. Let's get into the games. Uh, a lot of the games on here I don't know, so I will just talk about the games that I do know, which is Damned, which is a horror game where one guy is the monster and the other players are trying to escape. It is a fun game, but it needs lots of polish and I think it's fun for like half an hour and that's it. The other game from the one tire, uh, the one euro tire is 140. Um, this was actually, I think, my second video. I think my Assault on Arkham video was first, but I did a review of this game. And yeah, if you want to see me embarrassed, watch that video because it's very old. It had absolutely no production quality. It was just awful, but I still do stand behind what I said in that video about this game. Um, with this uh, tier 2, uh, you get Valley. The other games, I don't know. But Valley is also a really good game. Um, and if you don't own that game, I think 5 euro for Valley and 140 is a really good deal. And then on top of that, if you want to play it. By the way, I also do know Marooners, but... It is the fun game. It's a party game, um, like Panic Party, if you've seen that, or the just the mini games from uh, Mario Party. But it's confusing and it's not very good. I've played this with Stop Drop and Retro, and we both didn't like it. Um, but the big thing from this is the Tire 3 10 Euro, the Sexy Brutal. The Sexy Brutal is a game that I wanted to own for a very long time. Um, it's basically um, you play the same 12 hours over and over again, like Groundhog Day, and you try to um, prevent murders from happening. Uh, it's kind of a puzzle game, kind of an adventure game. It has a really good cool soundtrack, and I've never seen it for any lower than 10 euro so if you don't own this game yet it's a good deal to buy it and get valley and 140 and damned on top of it so that was the first bundle then let's go to the second uh, deal 
and that's also on Fanatical, and uh, it's a star deal. Not this star deal in particular, but I just wanted to let you know that the star deal week is going on again. Best of star deals week, as you can see. And what that basically means is every day there will be a new 24 hour deal on here, um, or until keys run out. Yesterday it was topical 5, uh, but that means that this is the second day, so there are still 5 more games to release uh, to the, throughout the week. So just keep an eye on, out for this website. And then we go to Humble Bundle with the Humble Codemasters Racing Bundle. Um, and yeah, it's mostly Formula 1. And I've always been a Formula 1 fan. And I also um, am a fan of this gaming series. Like I do own um, the first one. As you can see here. I have F1 2010 uh, on disc, um, but I don't own any of the um, I don't own any of the ones that you see here except 2011 on Vita. Um, I do own F1 Race Starts, which is I think a fun kart game, but it doesn't have drifting. It's more about racing lines to get ahead, so it is more about racing, and I do like that in this game because um, it's Formula One, so you want it to be more racing. Um, but it isn't, certainly it isn't for everybody. Um, also the DLC is really expensive and to have a full game, I think you need it. So yeah, you can get it here with the F1 Race Star Season Pass. And I, uh, but I do think it's a fun game and I also have a review of this game on my channel again. So yeah, <laughs> lucky me. Um, but I do find it weird that 2010 isn't on here because then it would be... Uh, a complete package to, to 2016, except 2013, but we will touch on that later. But F1 2011 and 12 are also good. Toybox Turbos, I just don't find a fun game. I know many people like it, I just don't. Then Grid 2 and Grid Autosport, not much to say about that. Also, these deals you probably don't use because you only have a month to use them and it's 40 and 60% off. I think you're better off just waiting um, a little bit longer than that and they will have bigger sales, I'm sure of it. But yeah, let's talk about the Formula 1 games here, 14 and 15. And as you see, we skipped 13. The reason why is I think because you have a bigger chance of buying that one on your own since their DLC or pre-order DLC where you um, could play older circuits that aren't from that year's um, circuit calendar. And it was a really good DLC and it's also seen as one of the best F1 games from Codemasters. Um, so it's a shame that it isn't in here, but yeah, it's just an annoyance. But still, it's a good deal to buy this. Although I would just go for this with 2012. Or go to the $15 tire. Uh, there isn't much in here except for the DLC for F1 Way Stars if you like that game. So let's go to the $15 tire. Micro Machines World Series, which uh, came out this year, which is basically a sequel to Toy Box Turbos, but it's really bad. Uh, Dirt Ready, I think, is the best dirt game ever. It's one of the best Codemasters games ever, but it's really hard. Like this game is almost unplayable uh, on keyboard, even on uh, with a gamepad you have a hard time. I think you need a steering wheel for this game and then still you need to put in lots of hours to even become reasonably good at this. Um, but I like it because of that. You need to make an investment in time to get good at this, but then it is really fun, I think. Grid season passes, okay, but let's go to 2016. F1 2016 with the booster pack. So basically, F1 2016 made a big change from 2015. And that's because for the first time after they released 2010, they did an update to the graphical engine. Uh, everything looked a lot better, looked a lot, uh, was playing a lot smoother. Uh, car control improved a lot. Uh, the only thing is, uh, real people, like the drivers and press people, they still look like shit. Uh, and that's also still the case with F1 2017. But this is the best F1 game to date. Um, um, 
I don't know that for sure because I don't really ha haven't followed the reviews of F1 2017, at least not the user reviews. But from all the other ones, and I ain't talking about 2017, then 2016 is the best one. And it's never been cheaper than to earn 12 euro. Um, so it's really good to pick this up and just get most of the series with it. Um, and even these ones, like I've never seen them cheaper than 750. They are always pretty expensive. And I think that's because of the F1 license. So yeah, I should get, I would get it. And also it's one of the last titles. F1 2017 is the actual last one with the normal F1 logo. I've seen the new logo and I hate it. But yeah, that's the racing bundle. So if you're a Formula 1 game, uh, if you are a Formula 1 fan, pick this up. If you are only a fan of like Grit, um, don't pick this up. There are other bundles or just buy them individually in deals um, and you will probably pay less. But yeah, let's go to the next deal. So the next deal is something I would normally not cover at bundle uh, roundup videos and it's the monthly bundle. The reason why I did it this time is because this is just such a great deal. You can't really uh, miss this. It's $12 and you get the Long Dark, Quantum Break and Dawn of War 3. So the Long Dark is a good survival indie game. Quantum Break is basically a television show with gameplay segments. It's made by the guys from Alan Wake, but it hasn't been reviewed all that well. But the big thing is Dawn of War 3. Uh, an RTS, a major RTS that just came out. Still full price and you can get it for $12 with lots of other games. It's just such great value for your $12. I think this is the best uh, games bundle that you can get right now. And certainly the best game subscription bundle that you can get. And again, this isn't sponsored in any way. I just really love this service. I've been subscribed now for about 8 months. I do pay monthly so that I can um, quit every month so that I'm not bound to have anything and you don't save that much so yeah I would if you were to subscribe I would do it monthly so you can unsubscribe whenever you want but like even when I saw uh, games on here because normally you only see one game here that I didn't like I still bought the bundle because I thought maybe there are other games in there that I will like and every time that was true I haven't had a bad bundle ever um, like this month it was H1Z1 and I really don't like H1Z1 I just like with Battle Royale, I want a very realistic one, a hardcore one, and this just is the opposite of that. But I thought, no, I will buy it. And I got the Sexy Brutal that I covered in the Nemesis bundle, so I'm very happy. Only that is normally $12, so that was really good for me. And on top of that, Next Machina, which is from the makers of Resogun, a bullet hell shooter that I wanted, and that didn't came out that long ago, that's normally €20. Euro. It's still a good value for me uh, i was very happy with that um just to see if this is something for you you can scroll throughout the other months um to see if you think this is worth your money but uh yeah basically this is the first one that i subscribe to the dirt ready one that i covered in the humble racing uh code masters racing bundle so yeah it's a big circle but on top of that you can also get to uh, explore the trove and here you get also good games like Volgar and Dust Force DX, Strike Suit Zero, Rhine, Shelter but you also get games that just came out like The Entis Nye is from the makers of um, from the maker of uh, The Binding of Isaac and Super Meat Boy at Edmund McMillan and this released on here like maybe the day after The Entis Nye released on Steam so this is a new game a full price game that you just got for free on top of the normal bundle and getting over it with Benny 40 um, this uh, released only a two months ago and it's releasing on Steam later this month so you can also get games earlier even than they arrive in normal stores so yeah you get all of this on top of your normal subscription model so I'm just a fan of the Hubble monthly um, Again, not sponsored. And yeah, if you want to subscribe, I would recommend buying monthly because 
then you can quit at any time. Um, Humble Monthly also has a referral program. Um, so I will leave a link in the description if you want to give me some money while you subscribe as well. Um, that's great. Um, it doesn't cost you anything extra. Uh, if you don't trust it or you don't want to, that's fine as well. Just subscribe the normal way. Uh, but anyway, that's everything that I wanted to talk about. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Uh, I hope that this was of some use of you. Maybe you have seen some bundles or deals that you wanted. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and see you all next time. Bye.